Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about the absolute best ad block for Safari. Now, 99% of my web browsing is actually done in Firefox. Uh, I use uBlock Origin and a few other uh, extensions there for security and to block ads. But for Safari, with macOS Catalina coming out uh, recently, a lot of the ad blockers just don't work. uBlock Origin doesn't work anymore. And I was really trying to find a good app. Before I was using an app called Kablock, and that one was fine, except for the fact that like on Mac Rumors, I don't know if you guys saw my other videos, it would leave like a big bar at the top where the ad should be and didn't push the content up to cover it. Now for me, that's kind of a big deal because visual aesthetics are very important to me and it was just annoying. This Adblock Pro right here just came out. It's by Crypto Inc. and they make a couple other iPhone apps. They actually make the same thing, Adblock Pro, uh, for Safari on iOS as well, and that is $8.99. However, it was free the other day, so if you got it, cool. Now, in the past on my phone, I used Purify, but I prefer Adblock Pro from now on. Now, this is not Adblock Plus. There's a lot of other apps with similar names. So make sure you get the right one. Just type in Adblock Pro in the search bar, and then it should be the first one that comes up if you type it just like that. Uh, make sure it's by Crypto Inc., and you should be set. So if I open the app up, uh, this is pretty much all you see just says setup or whitelist. You can add whitelist if you want. And all you gotta do is open in Safari preferences right here and you can turn it on. So you have to make sure that you check this box to turn it on, otherwise it's not gonna block anything. So turn on ads, malware, others, privacy, and social. It'll block all of those. And if you ever run into issues, you can always turn it off. And each one of these, if you don't notice right here, it says ads does not have permission to read or transmit content from any web pages. This means that the developer should not be able to see any websites you go to, they should see nothing like that. This is all local, which is fantastic. I would never install any of them that actually allow that to transmit, but all of these have the exact same thing, so we're good there. Kablock also has that, but Kablock's really not that good. I just have it on for now. I'll probably be uninstalling it soon. This is just a quick video, short and sweet, straight to the point, to tell you guys about the best ad blocker on Safari for the Mac right now. Will this change in the future? I don't know. But for right now, I am super happy with this, and I say get it while it's free. It might go up in price. I would not be surprised if this goes up to $10. But even for $10, I think it's still probably worth it. But for free, absolutely. Go get this while you can. Adblock Pro by Crypto Inc. Great app. Check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.